I'm Dr. Pooja Arora. I'm from Sign Hospital. I'm a physiotherapist. Uh, so I totally agree with you. Just a small question. When uh, Muhammad Prophet attained his prophethood, uh, and he, as you said, he was a common man before he attained prophethood. By that time, is it that uh, Quran, which is the word of God, has enlightened only Muslims because God can't be partial? So what was the rest of the world doing when Muhammad Prophet was enlightening a small sect of people? And is it that such a long time is being taken for the rest of the sector of society to just get enlightened to this word of God? And how many years would the non-Muslims, like Hindus, would... Uh, I totally agree with you, it has to be a concept. Hindus are believing idols, pictures, but or Ram, Bhagwan, whatever, but it is a concept and they have to be enlightened about it, that it is one. Hinduism also follows uh, an almighty, which is a power, a divine power, but unfortunately it has been given in various forms. So this enlightenment, if Quran helps a Hindu to know this enlightenment, it is fabulous. Sister asked a very good question and a very important question. She said that if Quran is such a great book, if it's the word of Almighty God, then why, when it came to Prophet Muhammad, it was only meant for that small group, you know, Arabs of that time, only Muslim, why not for the full world, how long will it take? Sister, the Quran was never revealed only for the Muslims or for the Arabs. The Quran was revealed for the whole of humanity. It's mentioned in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 1. In Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 52. In Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 185 and Surah Zumur chapter number 39 verse number 41 that the Quran was sent for the whole of humanity. Time is short, therefore I'm only giving references, not the quotations. So Quran was not sent only for the Muslims and the Arabs, the Quran was sent for the whole of humanity. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was not sent only for the Muslims and the Arabs. The Quran says in Surah Ambiya chapter number 21 verse number 107. Wama arsalnaka illa alamin that we have sent thee not but as a mercy to all the human beings, as a mercy to all the world, as a mercy to all the creatures. The message is repeated in Surah Sabah, chapter number 34, verse number 28, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is sent as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sins. But most of the human beings yet do not know. Now this verse of the Quran says, most of the human beings yet do not know. That's the reason, sister, we are having such conferences. It's the duty of every Muslim that should convey the word of Almighty God to all the human beings. So, uh, one more thing, sir. Can it I may ask? take time, but better late than never, sister. Better late than never. And everyone who claims to be a Muslim may not be a practicing Muslim. He may have a name, Abdullah, Zakir, Muhammad, Sultan, but he may not be a practicing Muslim. Similarly, as you rightly said, in Hinduism, you don't follow your scriptures. But yet, the religion which is the maximum followed, not only by lip service, but in practice today, it is Islam, number one. In numbers, Christianity, it is close to 2 billion. Muslims claiming is 1.3 billion. But the people practicing the religion, number one is Islam. Percentage-wise, it is the largest. So these lectures are mainly those small percentage of Muslims who are not following Islam correctly to get them closer to Islam and to those non-Muslims, we want to give the message of peace, the message of love and prove to the world that there is only one God. The ultimate peace can only come if you submit a will to Almighty God. That is the only way to get ultimate peace in this world and thereafter. So that is the reason, sister, we are having such conferences. We have a satellite channel, Peace TV, where every day more than 60 million people, they are watching it. So at least on the day of judgment, we can give shahada to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Rab, we did our best, whatever we could. We at least gave the message every day at least to 60 million people. And today, the message has even reached you, sister. So tomorrow, on the day of judgment, I can tell to Almighty God, I gave the message to the sister. Whether you accept or not is in your hand, sister.